Hey, what's up? Chris Dale here. And I got some questions or requests, more or less, uh, to go through my bookshelf to see what kind of books I have. So why not just go through some of my books? A lot of them are InfoSec books and see what I got. So I was thinking maybe uh, why not start on this shelf here. Uh, this book here has been with me for quite a while. Beautiful book on SQL, so the Structured Query Language. I used this quite a bit when I was a developer at an ISP, developing enterprise apps, primarily Java Enterprise Beans, Java Enterprise and Java Beans basically, and very, very useful. It has a ton of like recipes and tips and tricks on how to perform different types of stuff. Ooh, and this one. This one is beautiful. This one here got me into becoming a proper coder. How to write source code that people will love to read, easy to maintain, high performance and more. This book here is just simply awesome. Code Complete Second Edition. I, I want to read it again. I, I just look at it and I'm like, mm, yes please. Uh, iOS Hacker's Handbook. I bought this because I was getting into some mobile apps stuff so I haven't really taken a look at it too much yet so I'm not sure. Uh, I have looked at, so what I do sometimes when I buy books, I take a look at the table of contents and I look to see if I see any interesting topics and I go through that chapter specifically. Other than that, I don't have any recommendations right now for this book, except that the author list is quite respectable. Like Charlie Miller, you have like Dino Dai Zavoy here, Stefan, Stefan Esser. There's some really hardcore people on the cover here. So, probably a nice book. Counter Hack Reloaded. I had to get it because Ed Scotus has been with me for so many years, supporting me in my run with SAS. I even got the books, the book signed. Chris, I hope you enjoy the book. Ed Scotus, April 2013. That's pretty cool. So, ooh, 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 ooh. here we have the Web Applications Hackers Handbook. This is the second edition. Now, here's the first edition. This one here has made my life. It has changed so many things on how I do it. Look at the look at pages. Look how yellow they are. They are yellow because this book has been with me for so many years. I've studied it while I've been on vacations. I've been reading it. I've been basically using it as my Bible for many many years. And then the second edition came out and I basically looked at the deltas, look at what's changed. But basically the Web Applications Hackers Handbooks are awesome. And you want to grab the second edition. Now things have changed. Things have changed in terms of uh, uh, in terms that um, uh, they are now not going to publish a third edition. They're actually going to be um, uh, releasing everything online. So you're going to have the, like the Burp Web Suit Web Academy thingy, and that's where they're going to publish new techniques and stuff. Because I guess they realized, like many of us. They realize that, hey, books are not a format that suits IT very much. I mean, I love reading books, but things change very fast. So it might be a problem to keep things up to date and maintained. And that's what they can do when they have a website. Now, here's a book, The Hacker's Playbook. I'm not sure why, why I bought this book. I'm not very impressed. I think it was because I was developing some CTF exercises and I wanted ideas. But this basically is like a like a tutorial or a walkthrough for all kinds of different scenarios in terms of hacking. Uh, in my preference, not something I like. This one, beautiful book, Kevin Mitnick. Personally, I'm not, not a big fan of Kevin, but the books are well written and they're hard to put down. So in terms of like, I don't think it's fiction. I think they're all based on true stories. Well, that's the keyword, I guess, based on true stories, but they were a really good read and they changed a lot of things for me in my career. And this, The Cuckoo's Egg by Clifford Stoll, go read it. Beautiful book regarding dealing with, an, in the old days we didn't call it that, but an advanced persistent threat, in fact, Russian KGB. And Clifford, he basically did some cool stuff to, to prevent the KGB from getting too much access into his network. Then the book, The Tipping Point, great read by Malcolm, isn't it? Malcolm Gladwell, yeah, many of his books are bestsellers. He's a cool guy. And basically, The Tipping Point is more like a, more like a business book than anything else. Oh, the code book. Go get this book by Simon Singh. Simon Singh is a mathematician and he has written so many cool things. And this book is basically a, a book regarding ciphers 
and encryption all the way from the old days all the way through quantum cryptography. It's an awesome book. Mwah! One of my favorites. The Blue Team Handbook, Instant Response Edition. Uh, to be on honest, this is made by Don Marduk, a fellow science instructor. Uh, I just bought this as a reference. So I sometimes bring it with me just to like remind myself what I should look for and so on. And it might be a cool book to like start implementing like baselines and stuff like that. Uh, so check this out. But to be honest, I haven't looked too much into it yet. The Art of Intrusion, another great book by Kevin Mitnick. You should grab this one as well if you enjoy reading stories about the dark side of the internet. And basically, a semi-technical book here. But great books. Ah, uh, this one, also a must-have book if you're going to get into phishing, social engineering, the art of human hacking, social engineering. Christopher Hadnagy, great book. Thank you very much. This you must put on your reading list. Ah, Quarter Century of Unix. I was I was gonna read this one. Um, I don't have a bookmark in it. I'm not sure how far I got into it, but I wasn't very impressed. I wasn't very intrigued. You know the history of Unix. Uh, I'm probably I'm probably gonna read it. In fact, I'm gonna put it here as a to-do reading list and just skim through it really quickly. Uh, with the wig, I just have to, had to get this one just because of the history at Piss Force with the wig. So basically, just a cartoon of this guy with the wig and, and his life and so on. So that's that. Not something you must get. Eat that fraud to basically perform better as a consultant and so on. Uh, this book here Greg Hoglan and James Butler, Rootkit, Start of Subverting the Winner's Kernel. It's a good book, but I got about halfway, I think I have a bookmark in here somewhere, where I got a bit annoyed by the pages falling off, like the, the pages kept falling out of books and stuff, so the lining and the, the binding in here was falling off. But overall, I was impressed by the book in terms of investigating rootkits and figuring out what's going on, um, and basically writing your own rootkits filled with source code and has ability or has stuff in it that you can go through if you want to build rootkits. So, let's see. John Strand called Azadorian's book on offensive countermeasures. Now this was a cute little book, The Art of Active Defense. Uh, has a bunch of techniques covered in the ADHD um, distribution, the ISO. So basically I was very comfortable with a lot of the topics in this book already. I didn't, there wasn't that much new stuff, but uh, it is a cool book if you're looking at getting into offensive defenses, right? Tricking attackers into getting stuck at your gateways and tricking spiders and tracking bad guys and attributing bad guys and so on. About Hunter's Diary by Tobias Klein, I wasn't that amazed by this book. In fact, I had it on a Kindle version that is uh, some ebook. Um, it took, for me, it was a bit too much whoosh. Like, I hadn't that much experience in troubleshooting, debugging, looking for bugs at an exploit level in binaries. So, so for me, I, I brought this book uh, for at least one vacation and I, I just didn't finish it. Might be a good book, but for me, no. All right, so that's shelf number one. Next video, let's start on shelf number two. Awesome.